There was a TMZ story that came out that made a lot of mm. news that people were talking about. You had been arrested for a DUI. Mm -hmm. I'm curious if you could open up as to what really happened and yeah. what that was like having a part of you exposed publicly before people even got to know you on the show. Going through all of this with TMZ was really frustrating. In March of 2017, I was arrested for drinking and driving. And even after that, I didn't think that I had a problem with drinking. I was like, I made a mistake. I got into a car after a show that I had drank a little, probably a little too much more than I should have over the legal limit, but I was still driving home because at that point in time, I, th I thought that, that was okay. And I was 21. Now being much older, more educated, more knowledgeable, I recognize how many faults I had in that with putting other people's lives at jeopardy, with taking risk of my own life, and breaking the law. That happened in March, and when that happens, you are charged with a crime. You're not convicted of anything. There were a lot of false accusations made about me with my record and with how I handled things, and I handled everything to my best ability with the people that were involved with my legal cases, and what was really hard for me was getting back from filming and seeing these articles posted seeing these accusations made, and then seeing all of my friends repost the article. Because whether they were supporting me or telling anything, they were still reblogging, retweeting, reposting, sharing the article. The link kept surfacing. More and more people saw it because of that. Whether they were saying, hey, don't believe this, this isn't true, it just kept coming. And I couldn't say a single thing. Because we filmed RuPaul's Drag Race many, many months before it ever aired on television, before I could even legally say that I was on the television show. Right. And I had to be completely silent. What kind of pressure did that put on you in terms of having this be people's first entry point to you, having not seen the show at that point? Mm -hmm. And it was really hard seeing people like repost that stuff and like, talking about it and then creating comments about it and then commenting on it yeah. and then seeing my mugshot go viral. Because that was a mistake I made a long time ago that I was dealing with both legally both morally and ethically, and they were creating these ideas based on me and about me on an article that they thought was true, that they thought was a reflection of my character, which is the furthest thing from the truth. Yeah. And on TMZ of all sites. Of all places. Like, not exactly the paper of record. I was very flattered that they thought I was a celebrity enough to post the article. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, TMZ, because TMZ is the reason in the wake of call I needed to see a mugshot of mine spread like wildfire across the media, like across websites, news channels, radio, so many different social outlets for me to be like, oh, that's crazy, you know, they're talking about me and this is awful and this really, really hurts. But also maybe, I'm not sure, but maybe I have a drinking problem because this is something that can now get in the way of my career. Maybe not that I made a mistake, but is it's a problem. Yeah. And that was the first thing that opened the door for me for that.